So, you want to know how I made this cool shine effect in Blender 2.8, sorry, 2.9, oh my god, it's been so long since, oh wow, it's 2.9, guys, I, I'm, I'm mistaken. Hey guys, I'm Bucktuts by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in 2.9, EV, not 2.8, um, learning how to make this little shine effect, which is just super, super easy to do, and I absolutely love it, I use this in so many of my projects that I do for motion graphics. Um, one of my favorite things to do in the entire world and this is what it looks like right here uh it's so simple to do so we're gonna go ahead and actually start from the beginning here you can see if i play this animation there's nothing happening in it right now so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go to the beginning of the uh animation and hit shift a and we're gonna search for a light and this light is gonna be an area light we're gonna go ahead and move my uh scene around here it's kind of dark so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the uh material viewport so you can see better um now i have a couple lights here that i don't need so i'm gonna get rid of those um, I have one lamp up here, which is just a point lamp, so there's nothing else going on in the scene right now. Obviously, you see this is what it looks like. There's nothing going on. It's just that. So, if I grab our area lamp and then hit RX 90 on my numpad to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis, and go ahead and left click that to confirm that and hit 3 on our numpad. And you can see we can move this around and stuff, but I need to see where this is first. So, we'll grab, we'll hold down shift and grab both of these, hit 3. So now we can see how far this is off. So it's about like right here. Let's go ahead and move that to the, the approximate area. And then we can just go ahead and zoom in here. Um, and then just get it as close as is humanly possible to this, uh, to our image or to our object or to whatever it is. Of course, it's going to have to be a flat image, by the way. This is an image from, uh, this is an image that I used from the uh, add-on, which is image, at images as planes, which is just up in, uh, preferences and then under uh, add-ons you can just search images as planes check that on and then you can see images as planes right there so then you open up your image which is my logo uh, for my gaming uh, uh, streaming channel so we'll go ahead and use this right now we can go ahead and use this area lamp to go ahead and skinny make it skinnier so hit SX to scale on the X axis about that thickness you can do anything that you want you make it really thin really thick doesn't really matter but we're gonna make sure it's a little line like that and then hit S Z to scale on the Z axis, make sure it's nice and big to cover the entire image, uh, the entire object, whatever it is. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and anyway, I'm gonna rotate this slightly so it's not completely straight up and down because it looks very awkward. So I'm gonna hit R Y to rotate on the Y axis, and you can see now we have something that looks like this. Now, if I go to render viewport shading, you can see that we have a bright spot right where the uh, area lamp is. This is not close enough because it's like a feathered edge. I want it to be as sharp as possible, so G Y until it's as close as possible that it looks like it's probably yep this is as close as it can possibly get without going over um if you need to get it like precision 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 hit gy and then hold down shift and then you can move it in, in, in smaller increments but uh but yeah that looks good right about there as you can see you don't want to get too close because it will like clip so make sure it's not doing that just you don't really need to use shift if you, if you use that it's probably gonna be too close but just try and get it as close as possible and that is good the way that it is now all we need to do after this is animate it so i'm gonna go ahead and hit g and double tap x to move it upwards like this out of the way i'm gonna hit i to insert location and then go to like frame 60 or whatever just a random place doesn't matter really where um and then hit g and double tap x once again and then move it all the way down past the bottom of the R. So hit I, uh, location, and now you can see if I play this, it goes over top of the letter, which now looks like this, which looks really, really cool. So the cool, the, the even cooler thing is that I can do it slower, so I can grab this keyframe, hit G, move it way over here, and now you can see it, it'll, it'll go even slower, which looks nice. Do it again, even slower. And the really, really cool thing, like I said, is that it is so easy to do, and you can double them up as well. So if I go ahead and grab this uh, area lamp, double, uh, hit Shift D to duplicate it, right click to cancel the movement, and then I'll just move this second one, I, I, I drag a box over top of both these, and hit G to move the, this over. So there's a second one, you can just uh, hit S and double tap X, make it skinnier, and as you can see, it will now play with two shines going across the screen which just looks really, really cool. Like I said, this is obviously really slow now. You can make it faster or whatever you want, but you can see the idea here. I absolutely love this effect so much. It is one of my favorite things to do. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Uh, but until then, bye-bye.